Well, we've got a great game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. We're both really looking forward to describing it for you. And today it's Empoli against Juventus. Very much the highest scoring team we've seen this season. Juventus, exceptional. Well, they've been full of goals and coming from all areas of the pitch too. Empoli, here's their lineup for you. Well, we put this up as 4 4 2, but as you can see, three conventional midfield players and one just in front behind the main two attackers. Yeah, and that lad, I mean, he does like to get forward. I don't think he'd be so happy dropping into central midfield. He'll want to try and get in the box and, and join those lads up top if he can. shoots! He's blocked that well. Good clearance. Some options now for the pass. Quadrado! Quadrado! Safe hands from the goalkeeper there. Not the most demanding save, but it had to be made. Yeah, easy though to take it a little easy, take your eye off the ball. Couldn't hold on to the ball. A bit of pressure on the player, that's why it's gone out. In powerfully there. Sammy Kadira. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Now, can he take them on? Miralem Pjanic. The three, Aqua. Quadrado, that's very good defending, and the player had nowhere to go. Cross is blocked, tried to tackle here, and he's done that. And the corner might be coming in now, right into the heart of this Juventus penalty area. Oh, time to celebrate for the underdogs, could make something of this. Here's Chiellini. Could open in with a chance. Oh, it's a brilliant goal, and it was worth the wait. He's taken the chance very stylishly indeed, and it's given them advantage at last. They've worked hard to get it, and goodness me, they're celebrating it. So the first goal, it's 1 0. Matuidi, Quadrado, Cristiano Ronaldo. Miralem Pjanic, Kedira. They could pose some danger now. On to Ronaldo. Sandro. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Sandro. Now Quadrado. On to Pjanic. That well, was a good chance to get level here. Well, it certainly was. Good move, too, and give him another chance. I think he might take it. Luca Antonelli. Well, it's a tough place to visit this, but the away team today come here in good heart Alan they've won their last two games mm, they should be clever ball keepers ball a bit uh, rueful Juventus at the moment and they've been punished for their mistakes they're not playing too badly and that will give them some encouragement that this is just a temporary problem something that can be solved maybe in the second half Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Kedira. Here's Alexandro. Spotted that well and intercepted. 
Luca Antonelli. Added time coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Miralem Pjanic. Probing with the pass. Dybala with a chance. He's got his shot off now. And there it is! In truth, Alan, this is what we expected. A dominant side. And they're showing that on the scoreline. Yeah, we don't always get what we expect, but uh, they've been good value here. They've played well, particularly the strikers. It is uh, level. Well, everything to play for in the second half. We've reached half-time at 1-1. Ball rolling to the start of the second half, and Juventus get on the ball quickly. Tibala. Three Aqua. Excellent vision. Awkward for the goalkeeper, but he was positive and just beat the attacker to the ball. Could be dangerous. Gets his foot in there. Here's Alexandro. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. And they've spread it out wide here. Joao Cancelo. Oh, and that's a what? Matuidi! He's blocked that well. He's got that well out of harm's way. Well, that's the end of his game, and what a game he's had, and the crowd appreciate that. Excellent. Well, he, he was so lively from the first whistle, really, and he was dictating the match for large parts. Shot on! Well, he's taken a touch there of the defender. It will be a corner. It's short, the corner, this time. Matuidi. Dybala! They've scored, and they've gone into the lead. And undoubtedly deserved... They have been by far the superior side and they really imposed their will on the opposition. Too good, really, for the defending and the shot in the end far too good for the goalkeeper. So let's look at the goal for Juventus. I think they just wanted it more, Martin. The way he attacked the ball and the marking was really poor. Juventus, as predicted, have the lead. They'll get a free kick for that. Defended well. Dybala. Miralem Pjanic. Joao Cancelo. And it's going to be his throw here. Luca Antonelli. What about Juventus's next match, Alan? Well, they're playing Cagliari in the next match in Serie A. I think they'll find it pretty easy in this one. Sylvester. Read the play well to intercept. Pjanic. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Pjanic. Leonardo Benucci. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress. Giving it straight away. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Matuidi. Pass, pass, pass. And the player with the ball has so many options, so they work so hard off the ball to make those options possible. Yeah, and it's not been passing for... Shots on here. This is the joy of the game, really. You can get matches like this where one team seems certain to win and the other one just somehow rouses itself and comes from a very much a losing position into victory. And that's how it's going to go for Juventus now, it seems.
Leonardo Bonucci. Joao Cancelo. Out into the wide areas now. Couldn't go down the outside, he's gone inside. He's got his shot off now. Corner now for Juventus. Short corner. That's a very good tackle, but it's led to a corner. Gone short with the corner. That's good support play from his teammates. Gets his foot in there. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players down on the pitch believe as well here? Well, the signal's gone up for two minutes. Just one minute left on the clock. Dybala. Can it? Incisive pass. And he knocks in the goal. And that could just pull them away to make sure of the victory. Well, you get a lot of satisfaction as a goal-scoring forward for knocking one in from that distance. You know you're in the right place. No, it was a poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there, it took a little bit of instinct. Just a reminder. And the victory today goes to Juventus.